Well, I've already recorded this once in an outro form and I just weren't happy with the explanation that I give and kind of the story behind Courtney's birth and, you know, Isabel coming into the world. So I thought, let's actually sit down, let's have a full chat and let's talk about everything. Let's let's start from the very beginning. Let's start from the 12th of November when Courtney ended up going to hospital. And let's tell a full story. Morning, everybody. It is baby day. Uh, today, Isabel will be coming, maybe, or tomorrow. Within the next 48 to 72 hours, we will have a daughter again. All shaven, all showered, all ready to go. Cotton is the same. We're all packed. Cut bags this time. We're actually kind of prepared for once instead of like last time where we weren't prepared at all anyway we're hopping out to get some breakfast right now so we'll see you guys in just a little bit hang on <coughs> yeah that's going that careful that's going to be allowed to pin it though so leon's here as you can tell we are now we are now 40 minutes away from induction oh man you're good yeah. I've got you. We'll, we're together this time. There's no... You don't have to do this alone now. I'm good, I'm good. Mm. We're together. <sighs> but are you ready? Yeah. You sure? I also need to sit down. My feet are Ah, Come on. <laughs> Let's go. Let's roll out. <sighs> Let's go get ready and have a baby. Um, yeah. Let's baby. Oh, what you going to say? Yeah, you need to go get What? You need to go what weekend. Oh, no. More COVID. I gotta take one every time I come visit. I think so. I think that's what it is. Oh! <laughs> oh, my nose. That's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt. Here we are. Are you ready? Kind of. Kind of. <laughs> Looking at all this equipment laid out and it's just a bit. <laughs> it's a bit scary. Yeah, it's <laughs> We've just been through some stuff, you. Yeah, you look like you've seen some things. <laughs> I've seen things that you wouldn't ever want to know about. Kids don't get pregnant, it's not a good idea. Yeah, do not, do not. I'm actually sat with these things. I'm, I'm staying high because she's got no trousers on, so she's got these things. <laughs> it's really awkward trying to film, you know, when you're not. There we go, perfect view. Without being able to see anything. If we see things, we'll just blur it. <laughs> Shall I blow your face out? No. Looks like you've seen some things that people don't want to know about. <laughs> I've seen things, you know. See, I'm here as the uh, I'm here as the designated dad joke, and I don't mean my life if that's what you're about. <laughs> <laughs> my, my life is not a joke. Uh, Connie's blood pressure is just a little high, but after what she's had done, that's normal. Uh, well, I think it's normal anyway. They might feel different, but uh, stop beeping. We know we've been told. It just keeps going off that thing, you know. Every like thirty seconds, it's just going to tell us. We had to pull his hair all this time when doing that. No, it's fine. Barrett's oh. full. It's got more charge than my phone. No, I don't get it. You put it into a, it's like a computer machine, but then... It's a laptop. You need to put it into charge it. It's a laptop. <laughs> uh, but yeah. And Isabel seems to be a... Uh... Well, Isabel seems to be a fidget ass like normal. So. She's under my room, so it's pins and needles. <laughs> under Courtney's room. I don't think you can hear that. Isabel is quite loud. But uh, we'll keep you guys updated as we go along. Oh, balloon all in. Uh, we're just going for a little walk. Courtney's getting some tightenings, a bit of everywhere. Uh, so some movements and uh, maybe an Isabel by the end of today, you never know. Or by the end of tomorrow. So as I mentioned, on the 12th, Courtney went in for induction. Uh, because of how close Oliver and Isabel are, uh, she couldn't have more induction methods used, which is the little tablet thing. Uh, so she could only have the balloon, uh, the induction method of the balloon. I don't know. I don't know if they've got any other medical term. I think it's just called the balloon. Anyway, so the balloon was extremely painful for Courtney, and as you saw, I, I was extremely proud of her. She did absolutely amazing. She did actually have to go on gas and air. Um, it was ex it was an extreme struggle really for the midwife to actually reach up and get Courtney's cervix because they were so far back and closed. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear Oliver go uh, having a. Time of his life. <laughs> um, 
but yeah, so they're so far back and close, so it was a real struggle for the midwife to actually do that. So in the end, it did end up happening, but didn't really do much. Um, we were in hospital for, well, Courtney were in hospital for 24 hours while the balloon did something. It was an extremely painful and long 24 hours for Courtney. Uh, and in the end, they it didn't work um, and they couldn't do anything. They couldn't reach up and pop her waters. Um, her cervix was still closed and still very, very far back. So Isabel just didn't want, it, well, Courtney's body and a mixture of Isabel, she didn't really want to, didn't really want to come out. So in the end, really, Courtney had to have a C-section. Um, the C-section was classed as an emergency C-section, but was more planned than emergency, but was also emergency. Um, the doctor, counted three times that Courtney had got protein in her urine and her blood pressure was high on entering uh, the midwife room or the hospital. Uh, I don't know how she calculated it, but that's what she said. So that's what we had to go with. Um, and that's why Courtney planned the, in well, they planned the induction for, she wanted it that day. She wanted it bang on 40 weeks, uh, but it ended up being 40 and two, I believe. It happened on the Friday and Isabel was born on the sun, uh, Saturday. So, 40 and 3 by the time Isabel were here, 40 and 2 by the time the induction actually happened. Um, but in the end, C section it was. And uh, I was right. Uh, <laughs> I was right. Father knows best. <laughs> uh, Courtney had to have a C section. We all kind of said she would. Um, but in the hospital that day, they said um, it, it probably won't be today. So this was on the Saturday. They said it probably won't be today. And I said, well, you might as well say it. You know, might as well say you want it today. Because they said, do you want it today or do you want it tomorrow? Because uh, it's probably not going to be today. So I said, well, you might. Well, Connie said no. Right. So Connie said no. Connie said, uh, I'll just have it tomorrow. And I said, well, you might as well say it today. Because then if you're at least on the list, they can be working through the other patients that they have. And you can either be at top of the list tomorrow, unless an emergency comes in, or you can be, or it could happen today. So Courtney called the midwife back. Uh, good show, by the way. Uh, Courtney called the midwife back and said, actually, can I change my mind and just have it today? We'll just say I'll have it today. Midwife said, oh, that's good, because it'll be about four o'clock. Because they literally just had all the ladies on the birth ward give, give birth. So I was right. So with that, then bloods had to be taken, uh, a calf, calf, cannula? No, cannula, I don't know. Uh, a thing in the back of your hand, the catheter, I believe. Cannula, catheter. One of them, I don't know. I know one goes in your genitals to pee into a bag and one um, one goes in your hand or your arm <laughs> for fluids. Uh, I can't remember them. Uh, and uh, midwife couldn't do it. Uh, she tried and failed and then she had to take more bloods and a doctor ended up having to come to take bloods uh, and in the end an anifi test had to put the thing in the back of Courtney's hand and also administer the epidural for the c-section uh, and that's really where the story begins you know we all got dressed up in our stuff to make sure we're in a sterile environment and uh, I were in a room for a good 20 minutes on my own, just kind of thinking about things, being like, oh my, I'm actually having a daughter. I'm actually, she's actually coming today. She will be here within the next God knows how long. Uh, and then you see all this equipment that they use, you know, to check baby, um, make sure that she's okay. And it kind of, kind of gets a bit overwhelming, but in the end, really, I was over the moon. She's here. I can't show you right now, she's feeding, but... I just thought I'd show my face. I ain't so smiling for you, she will one. She's so beautiful. I'm surprised you stopped moving. Yeah, we'll not talk about that on vlog. Mm. I grab every time. I'm gonna give an absolute huge welcome to the world to Isabel. Isabella is the correct pronounce. But we'll show it to Isabel. Is Izzy. Bella. Belle. I'm over the moon. She's so beautiful. <laughs> She's beautiful. You're sitting on my back. <laughs> You're tired. You're welcome. Well, no, I'm just, I'm just. Thank you. Thank you for. Carrying the 
Yeah, yeah. thank you for caring for nine months and giving me the second most beautiful child I've ever met. She's gorgeous though. Oh, she is. Right up there. One on one with Ollie. Outfit of the day, little one. Outfit of the day, yeah. Welcome home, Isabella. And with that really, our story expands. We're welcoming Isabel to the world and bringing you all along for the beautiful memory of the birth. Oh, oh sorry about that. Of the birth of my children and Courtney's children, you know, our children, which is just absolutely amazing. So let's welcome them in. So as you saw, an absolute big welcome to Isabel. It's now 11 days old and so wide awake and so wriggly and so beautiful. And here she is. Hey, we're on camera share. And she's beautiful and I'm just over the moon about welcoming, wel welcoming, them. welcoming her to the world. And we've got the monkeys that we already know about. <laughs> We've got this beautiful little man Where in the sink, going? trying to call himself out of the sink. No. And we've got Carney. Really, ladies and gentlemen, with Isabel in the world and a monkey that we've already met. Welcome to the chapel family. <laughs>